Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today I like to share with you one problem which I faced on board my last vessel. Uh, one day we were together with apprentice engineer to measure some diesel oil fuel tanks and that I observed was that from the measuring pipe there was coming uh, a vacuum, a strong vacuum. When we opened the cover from up, the metal cover, we listen a noise very strong like that of vacuum. Was uh, strong enough if you put your hand, your hand will be sucked a little bit. And there was both two tanks was uh, two diesel tanks and that happened in both tanks from that tanks uh, was uh, operating managing diesel generators and boiler at that moment that means we have a lot of consumption and uh, and other thing that I uh, think in my mind was that all the consumption it was from there and these tanks was small that means that every time you need to fill by transfer pump to keep them at uh, a high level and one day uh, we transfer fuel we transfer fuel about three or four four times per day but uh, what I see I see I observe that when we start the pump the gauge is immediately going to full and I think that something is wrong with the gauges and and uh, this is was very strange this is not impossible uh, this is not possible to start the pump and fill the uh, tank as you know you have uh, consumption from there and after that what i do i measure the tank uh, the tank was about half meter to to the top from the top okay from the cover and I take also the drawings and I check that this both tank was connected connected and uh, these diesel tanks the vents is missing there is no no venting system for these tanks on the top like uh, you can find in the fuel tanks this was very strange as I look at the drawing uh, it's better always to look the drawings. As I look the drawing, I saw that there was an overflow pipe, and uh, this pipe is for the purpose when your tank is full and the remains fuel will not be uh, pressurized the tank, and all the fuel will go down to another tank which was located in double bottom okay double bottom tank and I was thinking why these tanks is under pressure and when you start the pump and when you stop the pump and level is going down is under vacuum that means there is no way for your liquid to go from there okay and uh, suddenly I realized that our double bottom tank was also filled with diesel but uh, what happened there this pipe which is going from diesel service tank this both was full and 
This pipe was passing from inside the double bottom the overflow pipe. That means if you have imagine this this is the double bottom okay tank and at the up at the top is two more tanks with overflow pipe going down. Imagine this double bottom full and the pipe is inside there. If the pipe is under the surface of this diesel fuel, okay, there is some static pressure applied here in the pipe, okay, and this pressure keeps the pipe blocked. That means if in the top this both tanks diesel for some reason will happen uh, an overflow, the the pipe will be filled and there is no space to push inside double bottom okay because your double bottom is full there is no space to absorb this overflow okay and also when the level is going down okay there is no space to suction from double bottom because double bottom tanks also uh, they have vents, but if they are full, you disrupt the air to passing from your tank, okay? And that was the problem, which uh, I find by using drawings and thinking uh, how the liquid is working inside and why is happening the vacuum and sometimes pressure, okay? This is the point that you must never fill your tanks until a maximum because maybe there is some pipes passing there or some vents and you will uh, disturb the passage of venting and breathing of the tanks. This is very important because if your tanks are not venting properly Imagine that your pump is suction from this uh, tank, okay? You have a tank, imagine here, and your pump is suction. Uh, the liquid which is consumed by the ship engines, okay, is sucked by the pump, okay? But the empty space must be filled with air to displace the liquid, okay, from inside. If for some reason, you make a vacuum inside this tank, your pump tries to pull the liquid from there and it's very difficult for the pump, okay? And you make damage also to the pump seals, to the pump, to the motors, okay? Because they increase the amperage on the motor and you can burn them, okay? Uh, so our lesson today was to not overfill your tanks. Be careful, okay? Yeah, for me, it's better to fill your tanks to 80-75%. This is the best uh, practice which I see in the ship. Why I'm saying this? Because if your level is low, your liquid inside the tanks will work like a cleaning machine inside. If the weather is rough, like you will see here, okay, and from the movement of the ship, the liquid will hit the free surface. And if there are any sediments or some, we say some dirty, this all will be cleaned and. Uh, sucked by your pump, all your filters will be clogged and there is a chain of damages which will appear. And uh, not too low, not too high, because after if the level is a lot, this will lead to overflows and as we see in our lesson plug systems. Okay, thank you for watching.
write your comments and I will thinking new videos for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.